Hi friends, happy Sunday. It's me, Patrick. I hope you guys are all having an amazing weekend. So I was working out earlier today and I noticed one thing at the gym. It was absolutely crazy packed and it has been for the last few days. And I thought to myself, oh, I know why. It's that time of year again. January is right around the corner. We got New Year's Eve in a couple days. And with New Year's Eve, oftentimes we have a New Year's resolution. And that resolution for a lot of folks is to get more physically fit, to go to the gym more, to do more workouts, to lose a few pounds, to lose a lot of weight, to eat healthier, whatever, something along those lines. But isn't it interesting, every single year, almost the same thing happens. The month of January at the gym, it's crazy busy, it's crazy packed with all those people. First, second week of February, things starting to lighten up. By the end of February, it's back to the usual suspects. All those folks pretty much vanished. Maybe a few hung in there, but most of those people are gone. So what happened? What happened to them in their New Year's resolution? Well, let me explain what happened. I'll give you a couple basic tips so that your New Year's resolution this year really sticks and you can execute on it and see the results that you set out to, to accomplish. Number one is, their goals, their resolutions, they were too vague, they were too generic. Saying to, to myself, I wanna lose a few pounds or I wanna be more fit this year, that's too high level, that's too vague, that's not gonna work. Where do I even get started with that? Right, I just show up aimlessly at the gym and just start you know, cranking out of the, the treadmill? No, so you wanna have a specific detailed resolution, a goal in mind. So grab a pen or a pencil, piece of paper and write out something like this. I wanna lose 20 pounds by February 15th. And I'm gonna work out Monday nights, Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and even Sunday morning. And Monday nights, I'm gonna do spin. Wednesday nights, I'm gonna hit the treadmill and I'm gonna do four miles. Friday nights, I'm gonna focus on X. And now you're starting to build a structure, some details around the goal, right? So it's more specific. You've given yourself a time frame. You've given yourself the goal of losing you know, 15 or 20 pounds by the, the middle of uh, February. And now you have a plan, Monday nights, Wednesday nights, Friday nights, and Sunday morning. That is going to get you to your goal because it's a lot more specific. You have a starting point. You have a plan of attack, right? You have structure around it. And it's written out. And when you write something out, you're so much more likely to accomplish it versus just a thought in your mind. So first thing is be more specific with your actual resolution and write it out. Put some details into it. You don't have to complicate it. Keep it simple, but put some details around it and write it out. The second thing, after you've written out your goal... Ask yourself why. Ask yourself why a few times. So if I ask you, well, why do you wanna lose you know, a few pounds in January? Why do you wanna lose uh, whatever it was, 15, 20 pounds by the middle of February? You might say something like, well, because I know I've packed on some weight this year and I just, I need to shed that. Okay, write that out. And then I want you to ask yourself why a second time. So you said you packed on some weight this year and you wanna lose it, okay, but why? And then you might find yourself struggling a little bit to answer the question. You might say, well, maybe because I don't need that weight or I looked in the mirror and I didn't like what I saw. Okay, write that out. Then ask yourself why a third time. If you can ask yourself why four or five times, you're going to get at a deep underlying root why, a real strong why, a purpose behind the goal that you're setting out to accomplish. And the reason you want to strike a chord that you really want to have a strong why is because you're gonna face challenges. You're gonna face resistance. It's gonna be frustrating. It's not all rainbows and unicorns. You're gonna show up at the gym for the first week and you're gonna be all happy and all exciting and it's a new plan and everything. You might see a pound or two shed away and all results. And then the second week and third week, it's gonna get a little more sticky, a little challenging, or maybe you have to work late one night and you're thinking, now I gotta to go to the gym too. But if you have a strong why, the how becomes a lot easier. So really challenge yourself as to why you're setting out for this New Year's resolution for this, this goal. When the why is strong, the how becomes easy. So again, just to recap, you've got a more specific resolution slash goal. It's written out. You've got some details, some structure around it, and you've asked yourself why several times to get at a deep underlying reason for setting out to accomplish this goal. You are gonna be so far more likely of accomplishing your goal this year and losing weight or being more physically fit then versus, you know, standing there on New Year's Eve before the big ball drops or whatever and saying, well, I definitely want to shave off a few pounds this year. I'm going to hit it hard in January, right? So if that happened to you last year or in a prior year, this is how you can change it if you really want to attack your New Year's resolution and be really serious about it. So thanks a lot, guys, for joining me. I really appreciate it. Have an awesome rest of your weekend and happy New Year's.